All right, we've recently just taken our multiplication quiz on the 11 factors. As most of you know, multiplying by 11 is going to be pretty easy. All you do is just take the digit that you're multiplying 11 by and write it twice over here. At least we know that works from 1 through 9. For example, 11 times 1, our digit is 1. Just write it twice over here. 11 times 2, our, our digit we're multiplying 11 by is 2, so we'll just write 2 twice over here. And of course, this digit is 3, we'll just write 3 twice over here. Get my stylus to work. So what about 11 times 4 through 9? Go ahead and pause the video and write this down on a sheet of paper real quick. Again, you just take the second digit and write it twice over here. Pause the video and fill this in on your sheet of paper real quick. Okay, did your sheet of paper, did you come up with the same answers that I did? Where you just take this and just simply uh, write it down twice. Here's a five, here's two fives. Here's a six, here's two six, seven, two sevens, eight, two eights, nine, two nines. So we know how to do that. Now, of course, this, I noticed a, a confusion right here when we did the multiplication quiz. This is 11, but this is 10. And let's review of how we multiply um, multiples of 10. Anytime we have something times 10, 14 times 10, for example, we just keep the 14, slap a zero behind it. If we were to have 27 times 10, we simply keep the 27, slap a zero behind it. So 11 times 10 really isn't any different. We keep the 11, we slap a zero on behind it. There were several people that I guess just maybe just forgot about this, that this is a multiple of 10. So be careful with that. Let's don't make it harder than what it has to be. All right, the next one is patterns for 11, is we've got 11 times 11 and 11 tw times 12. Now, earlier, with the factors 1 through 9, we simply just doubled the digit. But that won't work over here, because here we have two digits, two-digit factors that we're multiplying 11 by. Let me show you a trick on this one. The neat thing is that both of these digits are 11, or, or 1, excuse me, and anything times 1 is itself. You also know the big 0. Before you start the second row, first you add the big zero. Now, if we were to do that with the big zero, 11 times 11. First, we would start over in the bottom right on our one section. That would be one. And then we'd cross over from one times to one in the top ten section. That is also one. Now, before we start the second row, first we add the big zero. So this, as we've learned, is a one, but it really represents 10. So we'll put the zero right here and multiply all over again. And again, one times one is one, one times one is one. So we'll simply put our two ones right here. And now we add. 1 plus nothing is still 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, then 1 plus nothing is still 1. So 11 times 11 is 121. Now did you notice something about when we were setting up our multiplication? Here is the number 11, and here is the number 11 with zero slapped behind it. I wonder if this is what this looks like. When we multiply something by 12, or 11 by 12, will we just take the same 
multiples and slide one of them over. In other words, will this section right here, when we multiply it by 12, simply be 12 plus 12, and we slide that 12 over on the second row. This is be our big zero. There's two. Two plus one is three, and then one. Hmm. I wonder if that would work. So I'm gonna come over here and try this the big zero way. Okay, here's 12 times 11. Of course you do one times two, one times one. Of course anything times one is itself. So I put the 12 there. Same thing I did over here. All right, before I start the second row, first I'll add the big zero. There's my big zero. That would be that pretend zero right there. All right now I'm gonna multiply whatever's in the tens place, in this case a one. So again, anything times one is itself. So I'm gonna put my 12 right here. Then I find the sum. So here's the 12, here's the 12. Here's the second 12 slid over. And we just kind of imagined the zero was there. Here's our second 12 slid over. We add them up. And again, we get the same thing. 132, 132. So 11 times 12 is 132. I wonder if that would work with the rest of the fact or multiples of 11. Let's see, if we have 11 times 13, could we simply say that this would be 13 the second 13 to slid over. If we were to find the sum of that, there's our big zero. Three plus nothing is three, three plus one is four, and one plus nothing is one. So if we were to do 13 times 11, one times 13 is 13. Before I start the second row, first I'll add the big zero. 1 times 13 is 13 again. Find the sum of it. 3 plus nothing is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1 plus nothing is 1. So the multiple for 11 times 13 is 143. So I'm going to erase this part simply so I have some room to write again. Then we're going to do 11 times 14. So that would be 14 plus 14. Slide it over a little bit. There's that invisible zero if you need to write it there. Four plus nothing is four. Four plus one is five. One plus nothing is one. So 100, whoops. All right, so 100. 54. What about 11 times 15? Let's do 15 and 15, slide it over, add it up. 5 plus 0 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 1 plus nothing is still 1. So 11 times 15 is 165. And now it's your turn. On that same piece of paper that you wrote your multiples for 11 down earlier, finish working these few problems out. Try using it in using this method that I just showed you. It's really quick and easy and see what you get. Go ahead and pause the video and work it out and then come back when you're done. Okay, how did you do? Check your paper against mine and see, compare answers. Did we get the same thing? 
Now, you may have noticed while I was writing my answers out and not saying anything, did you notice there was a pattern for the first two digits of the multiple? It was 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And if I were to put 11 times 12, from what I gave, we said that was 132. And if you remember 11 times 11, that was 121. That pattern also continues. We have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then for the last digit, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And all of these were the patterns of 11. These are just some neat little tricks to help you along when you're going through your multiplication. And hopefully this will help.